You've all seen street performers before, but do you really know much about them? Street performing is a full-time job for some and a way to make extra cash for others. Is it their only job? Yes, we're full-time musicians, but we play on the streets sometimes for fun. I'm retired. For the time being. <laughs> I'm retired. I heard them singing two weeks ago, and I, by the time I emptied my pockets, blessing them and couldn't stop singing, so they drafted me. Street performing appealed to many people in different ways. What do they really love about it? the way it draws people and is able to send a message in a universal way because I feel like music is a universal language. People's reaction and the way I feel out of it, it's awesome. If, if you go to a church and they don't want you in there, you can always come here and, and show your talent and gifts to people that don't know you. I love to sing and I want people to know that I can sing so the best thing to do is sing in the street. It's impossible to give out water and the pipe not get wet. So it comes through us first and we're blessing other people and we go home so happy and lifted, encouraged, you know. People who perform on the street don't get a steady paycheck like other jobs. Instead, they rely totally on donations from the people who watch. How much do they make? It really depends. Um, on a good day, I'll make uh, 20 or 20 plus. It just depends where you're at who's listening, what the weather's like, so it varies. Probably like 15 for an hour. The permit that has recently been put to action makes street performing a totally different playing field for some and has no effect on others. What are their opinions on it? In London, they, they have it. Um, and I think it's sort of necessary in, in London because in the tube stations there, it's, it's very packed with people and it's very dense with musicians and so there's a lot of competition for space, there's a lot of competition for eyeballs to get attention and I don't think that we're at that same sort of level here. You know we've got high density traffic in our subways during rush hour in the morning and rush hour in the, in the afternoon but that's about it so it seems a bit unnecessary to me. Out here they never bother us, we don't even have a permit to play out here. We have been kicked out multiple times, I do think it's useless because like music I feel like everyone should just listen to music, like, it's just an awesome environment. The permit? I don't agree with it. Location is very important to a street performer. Where is the best place to perform? Everywhere. Just like anywhere anyone will listen to it. I think the park is the best place to play. I'm always aware I don't want to get too close to anybody in case they were there first and they don't like my music. We all know that practice makes perfect. We want to know how much street performers practice. Not as much as I should. <laughs> Not enough. I mean, I used, to be, I used to practice for four hours a day, and uh, it was a great thing. Definitely practice more. If you are a musician, practice as much as you can, because I kind of regret certain things that I don't have time to do right now. We also wanted to know if any street performers aspire to become big-named artists. It's our dream to become big as big can be because we want the world to know that we are the gospel shouters and we got, we got something that we got to shout about. It's always a dream, but I don't put much uh, store in it. Now that we have heard from the performers, let's see what the listeners think about them. People of the streets are street performers' toughest critics. How do people really feel about them? I feel excited, um, happy. I think it's definitely a great entertainment thing especially in Philly because there's so many different variations of street performers out here so you can kind of just walk down the block and see anything. That depends if the performance is cool or if it's lame. Some think that performing takes guts while others think they could definitely do it. How much courage do they think it takes? <laughs> I don't think I could do it but they're definitely I mean it takes a lot to stand out there in front of everyone and just show your talents or just you know let it go. Uh, not too much I mean if you're good at something, you can just go out and do it. It takes a lot to, uh, to, to leave yourself vulnerable like that, and you know people will judge. The only way street performers get paid is when strangers take money out of their pockets, but not all of them do. What does it take for people to give money to them? I think in order for me to actually give street performers money, I'd have to have money. 
Uh, and I'm, a, I'm actually, uh, my, real, uh, my real life job is as a teacher, so I don't have a lot of money. I generally don't because I'm pretty poor. Definitely has to be something very unique because I'm a college student, so I don't have a lot of money to give. It really shouldn't be about the money. It should just be just enjoying yourself at the time. It's great if someone can give you money and appreciate your time being, but that's really, in my opinion, not what it's about. We are a city that's loaded with talent, and so I think we're very good with street musicians in Philadelphia because we do have a lot of talent, but also we're a city that really appreciates talent. And so I think that um, that kind of makes us special. Stand, stand by me. 